Welcome to my new home. It's a 1938 little farmhouse. Um, it was like a Sears kit house and it's got a lot of character and um, a lot to do on it, but I'm very, very excited to show you guys everything before we start messing with it. So without further ado, welcome to my new home and my property tour. Yeah! What's up guys? Today's video is actually, it's sponsored by HelloFresh, so that's pretty cool. Today I'm gonna be making spicy Peruvian chicken, and I'm pretty excited about it because um, I love spicy food. So, let's get into it. So obviously, HelloFresh is more convenient than grocery shopping, but did you also know that it's cheaper than grocery shopping? And it's 25% less money than uh, takeout. So, what you thinking about that? You can get farm to table quality ingredients with every HelloFresh box. Why? You might be asking yourself. Great question, lad. Love to tell you. Their ingredients are picked at peak ripeness and then sent to you within seven days so that every bite you have is fresh. If you're stuck in a recipe rut like I get sometimes, they have 40 recipes to choose from weekly. So for all you picky eaters out there, there's gonna be something for you. And um, I think that's all I have to say about that. If you're anything like me, I definitely need a switch up in my menu on a weekly basis. I get really bored really fast and Jacob and I cook together all the time so it's fun to have new fresh recipes to create together. Oh hey what's up? Hey. I'm, I'm here now. I've been here so. Hey guys we're gonna try our food now. Jacob's head's cut off but we won't talk about that here. <laughs> Should we all try it at the same time? Sure. Yeah. Okay. That's a big piece. Cheers. Chicken, yeah. chicken cheers. cheers. Chicken wow. cheers. Mmm. That's really good. That's very good. Mm -hmm. That's so good. That's very. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Mm. All right, guys. So I'm going to need you to go to HelloFresh.com and use code CATROSE16 to get 16 free meals and free shipping. That. Sorry, this is. We're going in on this, please. Mm -hmm. That was HelloFresh.com. Use CATROSE16 to get 16 free meals and free shipping. Back to the video. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, thank you. So I don't have anybody helping me film this time around, so it's gonna be a little tricky to get a fancy house tour, but uh, here we are. This is the, the living area, the entry living. This is gonna be the living room. Got the original wood floors. We've got the original windows. Because it's an older house, you've got all of these beautiful, like, encrusted, details all over the place. And then check this out, guys. Look how old these are. And they're on ropes. They slide on ropes. Anyways, this is the living room space. Moving into what was, I think, the um, original like dining room. Turn on this really crappy light for now. So this is the old dining room. I love the arched bookcase. You can even see the walls are wood. Um, crazy. I learn new stuff every day. But the, the floors creak because it's, you know, it's old and they're just nailed down. Um, anyways, look at this detail down here. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, I'm not gonna take you upstairs yet because that was an addition. They actually built a space for kind of, kind of like a proper master, but it's really not, um, into the attic. So yeah, cool thing about this house is because it's from the 30s, um, you can't really tell on camera, but the doorways are a lot skinnier and shorter because people were just smaller back then. So yeah, I kinda, kinda love that. So we enter the hall which has this cute little, it's called a cabinet, Catherine. It's a cabinet. We have cabinet. This is and was the only bedroom. Welcome to it. What I love so much about this room is just this beautiful view that you get of the property and the light that you get in it when you have the shutters open. Definitely gonna be spending a lot of time in here. I think for now, when we move in, this will probably be the master bedroom um, because we might be doing an addition, which is pretty cool. So now, this is my favorite archway. 
into the kitchen. I love the rounded archway. But first, before we go in the kitchen, the bathroom. Ta-da, it's really, really tiny. <laughs> And I love it. We're gonna be, oh hey, what's up? I can just do this, what's good? How you doing? Cool, barely any space to have a toilet, which is great. If you're a dude and you gotta go to the bathroom or you gotta go pee, you can have this wonderful view while you're doing your thing. I don't know why I had to add in that detail, but I did. Okay, without further ado, the kitchen. Like I said, it's got this beautiful archway entry. Yeah, I, seriously love this kitchen. All of the beautiful details that are on the cabinets um, and like the sink is so sick. I love it so much. Okay. You can make music with the floor. <laughs> Anyways, this room, it's probably my favorite room because it gets so much beautiful natural light. So this is the sun room, which I'll probably be painting white, but check it out. You get this beautiful view out of all of these windows. All of this light comes in and it's, I just feel very spoiled. And this is literally everything I've ever wanted. So that's pretty cool as well. And check out these original doors. Look at this detail. Oh my gosh. Right now, it's the laundry, which isn't that exciting. All right, let's go upstairs. Now I know what you're gonna think. Wow, this is really funky, and I completely agree. It's got like industrial carpet in it. This, Cindy's little work is a little janky. This is it. It's long, you got a nice view that you can't see because it's blown out out those windows. And then you've got this little nook in here, which eventually this will be like a guest place to stay. So I'm gonna put a couch, coffee table, maybe mount a TV there. And then I'll put a bed over there for people. I don't know, this is just, it's like a, a lot of long, it's an awkward space. Also, it's, it's very short ceilings. So for all my tall peeps, I'm sorry. Um, Here's, whoops, wrong, wrong one also the wrong one I'm not I don't live here yet okay um very interesting as you can see it's uh low oh what's up yeah we have a mirror over the toilet for some reason and we've got this what is that mm, not sure and then we've got the smallest shower ever but It'll do. Now it's time to show you the garage, which you're like, probably like, why would you show me the garage? Because it's dope. Let's go. Okay, so this garage is all redwood that they chopped and cut and built this garage out of, or barn, or whatever you want to call it. Obviously, it's been modernized a little bit from the 30s. So everything you see in here is original. And I think it's pretty, pretty freaking special. And this could just be me geeking out, but I love this stuff. These are original windows. I don't even know if they open at this point. Look at that original hardware. No idea how old this thing is. Okay, I got one more thing to show you at the house, which is I have a cellar. I have a freaking cellar, dude. And I know that a lot of people who have cellars are being like, oh, you're such Californian. I know. Okay, but that's rare to find in California. Let's go check out the cellar. Then I got five acres to show you. So. So, back in the day, this is where people would store their perishable foods. So their vegetables, um, stuff like that, because it's really cool down here. It's all concrete, it's below ground. So it's, yeah, 60 something down here right now, whereas outside it's like 80 something. So it stays tremendously cooler down here. Um, what's really amazing is, these are the, those are, that's my floor. <laughs> um, yeah. This house gets a little cold, but we'll be fine. Okay, so there's not much more I can say about that. I just think it's really, really cool that I have my own little underground bunker. I guess we'll do a property tour. Let me pull out the drone. So 
So something that I've always wanted my entire life is an old house on property in Northern California. And genuinely, this is literally my dream come true. I'm just a creative person and I like having a space to be creative and having five acres that is mine that I can do whatever I want to is really exciting. You know, we're talking about doing like a little guest house, possibly a music studio kind of shed, disc golf course, all kinds of stuff that we can do here. We'll make our way over to the bridge where I'm definitely gonna have a nice seating area and all of that. So this is the little bridge to cross the stream on the other side. Pretty cool. Something I'm also really excited about is just setting up like random little like, I don't know, fairies and stuff like that just to tell my nephew like, shh, fairies live here. Example A, this. Perfect, perfect little fairy hole. I wanna like screw a little lantern in here, put solar powered and put like a little like gnome or a little fairy in there. Make it their little home, it'd be really cool. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. This is the creek, it's also our irrigation. This is how we get our water supply for irrigating. You don't drink it, but yeah, I'll show you. It's kind of interesting, to me at least. They've made this system where the creek feeds into this pipe, spits it out into this trough, and then the trough has a filter that sucks it back into the tank where the water is stored and then it's pushed out for irrigation. The more you know, you know. Oh, 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 everything's fine. Just felt something on my ankle, it scared me. I just, I feel like I have my own park, but it's my yard, if that makes, yeah. You just hear the running water all the time, which is super peaceful. I can't wait to bring my guitar out here and get to write music in private, on my own property, listening to the water. I mean, I, yeah, I just can't. I really can't believe this is my life right now. And I know everybody's like, you just moved into the new house, why are you moving again? It's my parents' house down south and they're keeping it, so that's why. It, this, you know, this really wasn't in the plans uh, for a couple years, but I came to visit my parents and it was on the market for a really, really fair price and it was just something couldn't pass up. Just felt like it's meant to be. Even if it's not in the plans, it just, it felt right. Okay guys, I think this is gonna conclude our tour. Um, I can't wait to start making content in the next couple of months. Um, and a little short update on that, I guess, is that life has just been a little insane for me recently, just personal stuff going on, and I just haven't felt like I can give a lot to making content. But I feel like moving up here, I'm just gonna have constant projects and content to film and places to go and new things to see, and I can't wait to bring you guys along for that. I will be here, I will be back very soon. Okay guys. I'll be in touch. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.